This tutorial provides a short overview of laser marking and laser tracing. All of the Tykema lasers are equipped with a red aiming beam. If you look underneath your laser, underneath the lens, on the work surface or your part, you're going to see a red dot. The same uh, red dot that you use for focusing, uh, the one that is coming out of the laser lens is utilized as a tracing beam as well. And what this means is that you can simulate the marking uh, by using this red beam and watching it uh, simulate the marking on the part as opposed to the actual laser beam that does the marking. And likewise, you can also trace the outline of the object that you wish to mark. And there's two different ways to do this outline. And this outline is what is going to allow you to align the mark correctly on your part. In other words, when you have a part underneath the laser and you need to position the mark in the correct place on your part, you need a tool in order to tell you where that goes or where the mark is going to go and line it up and therefore this trace feature is going to allow you to do that. So to trace, uh, we first will create an object and I'm just going to create some text and I'm going to put this as Tykema and just going to apply a quick fill. Okay, now to trace this object on my part, I'm simply going to come down here to the trace button and click trace. Now you can see I am tracing the actual outline of the characters on the part. Now there's two different ways that you can do this. You do not have to trace just the outline of the characters. You can also create a box around the part and I'm going to show you how to do that. If we come back to our software, we're going to come to file up here at the top and go to machine parameters. It's going to prompt you for a password. That password is 5287. Once you get in here, you're going to go to the other tab and you're going to go to red light pointer. Enable contour tracing is checked if you are seeing the outline of your characters. In order to create the box, you're going to uncheck this. Click OK. OK. And I can come back to my trace. And now the object is going to be traced as a square. So the laser is tracing the outside dimensions of the object. Now both of these trace features are going to display the object in the actual size and the actual location that the mark is going to happen. You will also notice in this video clip that the box is now moving around as well. And the reason it's moving around is we're showing you another feature of our tracing, which allows you to use the keyboard arrows up, down, left, and right in order to position the mark in the correct location on your part. So simply by jogging those keyboard arrows, you can move it around. And that is a very helpful feature. Most software, you have to come back to the software, turn off the trace feature, reposition your part or your text, turn the trace feature back on, and so on and so forth until you're in the right location. However, with the Tykema system, you are able to use the keyboard arrows to teach in the mark to the correct location. Now let's talk about marking. In order to mark, you're simply going to click Mark down here or you're going to press start on your machine either way and that depends on the model how that functions but you can trigger the marking either way so in the software if we click mark now you can see we've made a mark on our part and the laser is marking a piece of anodized aluminum you can see that marking taking place alright we'll stop that and now we can discuss how we can mark multiple objects or we can have multiple objects on the screen but choose to only mark one. So for example, if I have more than one object, I'm just going to copy and paste, if I have two Tykemas, right now if I click off or even if I have one selected, doesn't matter, and I click trace or I click mark, the laser is either going to trace both objects and in this case it would trace all the way around this Tykema up here to the top to the top left corner all the way down and come across the bottom of this Tykema and then come back up the right side and then back across the top Tykema in order to create the outline. Likewise if I click mark right now it will mark both objects. However you may want to only mark one of these objects and the other you may want to ignore. Um, some people or users will create project files with multiple 
uh, layouts or text or images inside that they want to mark but they only want to mark certain uh, objects at a time to do that there's two ways you can either select the object that you want to mark and then come down here and choose mark selected when you do that and you click on the mark button it will only mark the object that you have selected or objects so if I have both objects selected it will mark both objects if I have this top object selected it will only mark the top object the other way to do this is to select the object, assign a different pin to that object, and then turn the pin off by double clicking in the on off here. You can see I'm turning this on and off. This is helpful if you want to turn objects on or off, or if you would like to use objects uh, to make notations for yourself or your operator. There's one other feature down here we'll show you, which is continuous mark. If we click this, the marking will loop continuously. That's a short overview of the trace and mark features.